prepared to, um, today we're going to get started, uh, you know, with our underpainting, drawing and underpainting of our key. And this is a technical skill building exercise. We're going to be doing it in black and white. You're only doing one of those keys. <clears throat> so on Google Classroom, you'll see everybody got a reference. You don't have to draw all both keys, just one. I'm using my white chalk pencil, which is in your envelope in your kit. You're also going to need your black and white paints that are in little plastic jars in your kit I sent home. And I'm using cardboard, but you can use a piece of paper, a paper bag, a, a brown paper bag, a cereal box, anything you want. So I'm just going to do it right here because I'm doing a study. So I'm going to look at my key. And the first thing I'm going to do is, you know, you do want to make it bigger. We're not doing a teeny, teeny, teeny painting. We're just, we're practicing. So my, it's at an angle. So I want to make sure that I'm, see how I'm doing my underdrawing. So here it goes like this. Here it goes like this. This comes down. Here it is. Here's that. The little part of the key. This is around here and then that comes down over down over okay so that is too far over okay let's do that and that i'm just gonna get my underdrawing in before i do anything else and I'm just looking at the structure. It kind of, I'm doing that one and the, it flanges out just a little bit. Um, so what you're gonna do is pretty much the same thing. You're gonna get it all drawn out before you lay down. You're gonna make a mid, a mid gray tone and you're gonna go ahead and lay that down over the whole key. And then tomorrow we'll come back and I'll start talking about highlights and low lights and how to kind of shade and use acrylic paint to uh, blend and stuff like that. Uh, metal object is perfect because of the highlights and the definitive kind of um, shape it has. So it, it's really cool to like teach painting uh, with a metal object because that is really how to see it. So I'm just gonna go like that. See, I don't wanna put too many details in because a lot of it's gonna get painted over. Right now I'm just checking to make sure that I've got everything in there that I wanna get in there. And then I'm gonna come down here. And right now I feel pretty good about my key. And I'm gonna put my chalk pencil away and I'm gonna take my white and my black and I've got a little palette. You can use a, a yogurt lid. Uh, you can use any kind of plastic, uh, any kind of plastic lid. And you don't want a too dark of a gray. You're looking for a middle gray because you're using black and white. We're just going middle. So we're looking for that right in between white and, and you're, we're looking right in the middle. And so that's kind of where I'm at looking at the color. Um, and then tomorrow we're going to be looking really closely at the value and what's white and what's black and what's medium. But for today, all we're going to do, and I'm going to move my computer, is I'm just going to paint in my drawing with gray. Just like that. And you're going to go ahead and, and do the same thing. You're going to get your, your key all based out. Just like that, just like that. It does, see how big it is? It needs to be, you know, at least six inches big is what I'm asking for. I don't want a teeny weeny key because I do want you to get something out of this exercise. So I do, I do want you to get something out of it by, um, you know, going a little bit bigger, stretching a little bit past what you're comfortable with so that you can, you know, learn from it. I'm having a hard time talking. So here I am basing out my key. 
branches out. I'm gonna go up here and do that. Take a little bit of white, come around here. I'm gonna leave that with that circle part. I'm gonna leave that cardboard. I'm gonna come in after I'm done painting and I'm gonna um, paint my background. Um, either white or black or because I'm in the studio I might do a color you guys don't have colors you guys just have a black and a white so and then tomorrow we will look at, you know, beginning to kind of get in there and start to shade. So I'm just, just doing a teeny little bit just to show you how it can be done. And I'm gonna be painting my background and you probably will too. So it's okay to kind of, if you accidentally get stuff in your background, just know that you're going to paint over it. There's a circle part here. And then I'm going to get straight up white. And there's like a white line here. And there's a white line here. And then there's a whole bunch here that I missed. And that's pretty much how you start. Okay, so that's just what, where we're at today. That's all you need is the drawing and baste it in gray and tomorrow I'll go into like the shading of it.